Assalamu alaikum students and a very good morning to all of you. This is Sidra Hassan from the Crescent School. Students, we are going to start a new chapter today and this is a fraction and it is super duper easy. So, let's start our topic. Fraction is a part of whole. Now you have seen it is a whole, right? It is a one rectangle shape having three pieces and it is a, also a rectangle shape bar having three pieces so these are the whole so as we say that fraction is a part of whole the shaded part is the fraction no why no because these are the unequal parts right and these are the equal parts so we can say fraction to these part right so the complete definition of fraction it will be Fraction is an equal part of whole. Okay. So now, uh, here we can say that the shaded part we will write on the upper side and the total parts we will write on the down side and it will be 1 by 3, right? Now, equivalent fraction. Equivalent fraction. What is equivalent fraction? As the name indicate, equivalent means equal. The fractions are equivalent if they have same size. You can understand it like this also that numbers are different but they are representing the same size. Let me tell you an example. For example, it is 1 by 4, right? Here it is one part, right? As I have told you, the shaded part we will write on the upper side and Total parts 1, 2, 3, 4, we will write on the lower side. So it is 1 by 4. Now look at here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So total parts are 8. And how many are shaded? 2 parts. So 2 parts are shaded. I will write 2 by 8. Oh, both of these are actually representing same things, right? But numbers are different. This is what the equivalent fraction. Now, you know that uh, fraction has two parts. The upper part is called numerator and the lower part is called denominator. And both of these parts are separated by a bar line. Now, I will give you another example. For example, if I am saying that uh, I have eaten half pizza, right? Half pizza. So, I have written like this, 1 by 2. Okay, now can I say that 1 by 2 is equal to 1, 2 shaded part? I will write on the upper side shaded part and the total parts 1, 2, 3, 4. So total parts are 4. Now can I say, for example, how many parts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 parts. I will write on the lower side total parts and the shaded part. I will write on the upper side. That will be my numerator. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will write 4 over there. Now, 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 4 by 8. You have seen all the numbers are different, right? All the fractions are different. But are you seeing that the uh, pizza which I have eaten is the same amount, right? So this is what actually equivalent fraction. That numbers are different but you are representing same things. Now you can do this activity also that take uh, a stri three, three strips of computer paper, right? You can take any colored computer paper also. So, and you can fold it like this, right? As I have folded. Now, this portion is called 1 by 2 and this portion is also 1 by 2 and I have shaded one part, right? In the same way, I will take another strip and I fold it into, fold it two times, right? When I fold it two times, it becomes four parts, right? So each part representing one by four, one by four, one by four, and one by four. So these are actually one by two and two by four, right? The, have you seen that these are equal, right? Now, you can see over there also that I'm folding a computer piece three times, right? One time and two times. 
three times. Now, girls, see the colored portion. All of these fractions are equal, right? But they the numbers are different, right? One by two, and it is one plus one. It will be two by four, and one plus one plus one plus one. It will be four by eight, right? So all of these fractions are same, but they are representing different numbers. Got it? I hope that you have enjoyed the video and you have understand all the things. Goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.